cutting edge lab. Microsoft is bringing it here and it promises to help local businesses. Only two other places in the whole country have one. Jason Calvi tells us it's connected with artificial intelligence, AI. Microsoft has six AI innovation labs across the entire world. The seventh is coming right here to UW-Milwaukee. It'll be the only one focused on manufacturing and the only at a college. This is really exciting stuff. The AI co-innovation lab will come here, the center of the UW-Milwaukee campus. CSI, no, not the TV show, the Connected Systems Institute. How can we use that technology to solve their business problems. Institute Director Joe Hammond says it will help more than just businesses. What a better set of experiences for a student than to come work in an environment where there's going to be 60 unique industry partners coming in to learn about AI in manufacturing that they can use to solve a problem in their operation. The lab will have the goal to work with 60 different companies every single year. Businesses can come in, manufacturers can come in, and we'll work with them to design the future of manufacturing using AI. Microsoft's president, Brad Smith, grew up in Wisconsin. His company will pay for five positions at the UWM lab. That's two Microsoft employees and three contractors. Data is everywhere, but making sense of this data is where the AI would help. This AI innovation lab could be up and running within 100 to 120 days. I look forward to what this brings. It certainly sounds exciting. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. The state is also pitching in on this. The Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation is giving half a million dollars to help upgrade the UWM lab, and it's giving another half million to help set up a new office inside that AI lab to help startups and entrepreneurs.